and today I'm going to be doing the Elimination Chamber prediction video. I'm sorry to be late, but uh, this, is, this is just what I had to do with just some stuff going on. I just do that on tweet. Uh, but, alright, so we'll start with match number one, which will be Y back and Curtis Axel versus the Rhodes Brothers. And Road Brothers are probably going to win because Ryback and Curtis Axel are both major jobbers now. So, <laughs> And next up, we will have Intercontinental Championship match between Big E and Jack Swagger. Now, I'm gonna say Big E Langston will pick up the win on this one. I don't think they're really done with his title reign yet. And of course, I think we're going to soon see some dissension between the real Americans. Maybe even because Cesaro's Zaro is pretty insane. Well, a really good wrestler in hand. Hopefully, maybe at WrestleMania 30, they'll have Jack Swagger and Tony Cesaro, I don't know. <laughs> but next up is Titus O'Neil versus Darren Young. Yeah, Titus O'Neil. I don't think, Darren Young doesn't have, Darren Young kind of screwed himself with the whole, like, I'm, like, I know it got them a tiny push when he said he was gay, but now it's kind of killed him because it's like, if they gave him the main event spot ever in the future, everyone's going to be like, you do that because he's gay. So, basically they killed Darren Young by doing that. Well, Darren Young killed himself, so anyway. And Titus O'Neil. <laughs> oh, oops. I lost my page. Uh, I think the next one is the Usos versus the New Age Outlaws. Uh, Usos, hopefully, will pick up the win. Because if they pick up the win, that means for my Royal Rumble predictions video, I was correct 100%. Saying that they would use the Outlaws as tr transitional champions. But I thought it was close to the Outlaws. I know a lot of people were just like, this is stupid. Why are the Outlaws tag team champions? It's like, well, they're supposed to be like a heel group, so. You know, this is hard, hard, hard. <laughs> But next up is Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. Now, Alberto Del Rio is getting fed to Batista. We all know this is happening. Honestly, I don't see why they couldn't put Batista in the chamber. Like, first German. Um, but I guess they want to make him look extra strong or something. It's Alberto Dorito. I mean, no, he's just gonna just get his ass beat. Uh, hope he quits company. <laughs> Next is the Wyatt family versus the Shield. Um, this is a this is a close one. It's really. I think it's gonna be the Wyatts, though. I'm definitely Wyatts. I'm going with I'm with the Wyatts. I think the Shield. Of course, we've seen the dissension between Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, because Dean ain't be talking all that noise. <laughs> I think the Wyatts need a bigger win again, because the Shield they're breaking up. They don't really need this win. And hopefully, there are rumors though that Roman Reigns is going on to lead the Shield and have a match with Triple H at Mania 30, and I don't. I don't think that'd be a bad match. I think that'd be pretty good. But after the Wyatt family versus the Shield is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber match. So I guess I'm gonna go who I think is gonna be the order they're gonna be eliminated in. So pretty sure Christian's gonna go first. Well, actually let me reverse that. So the rumor mills. I do follow up on the rumor mills, but I'm just gonna take this one. Uh, spoiler, I guess, if you don't want to know, this could possibly happen, this might be just, like, bullshit, but I don't know. So I just skip, like, a minute or 50 seconds ahead. But apparently, everyone's gonna do their finisher to John Cena at the very, and just eliminate him firsthand. Like, it'll be Sheamus, Randy Orton, wait. Or, what am I trying to say? Yes, right at the beginning, when they're all in the chamber, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know, I missed up the words there, but right at the beginning, when they're all in the chamber, they've all come into their pods, they're all gonna just do their finishers to Cena, and knock him out of there, get him out of the chamber, have him first eliminated, but if that's what happens, then I'm gonna get Cena, but if that one is, if that plan scrapped, I think it's gonna be Christian, Sheamus, Cesaro, Cena, Bryan. I don't think Daniel Bryan is winning the championship. I wish he would, I really want Daniel Bryan to be champion, but I'm pretty sure Randy Orton's gonna retain. It's kinda obvious when they had the whole, oh, he lost to, well, he didn't lose to Sheamus, he lost to Cena, Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan, so.
So basically, I think he's going to retain. But I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. I hope Brian wins. Because that would be amazing. And it's a really easy triple threat match if they want to set it up that way. You give Brian the title. And then, of course, Reynolds like, I want my rematch. And then she's like, but I won the Rumble. And then Stephanie, or apparently there's just Hulk Hogan's going to be the general manager, come out and be like, you got a triple threat at Mania. And there you go, triple threat at WrestleMania. 30 match. That way the crowd is shat all over the main event. Because if it's Batista and Randy Orton, you know that crowd will kill that match. But thank you guys for watching. My name's been Oscar Fresh, and I hope you come back around this time in April to see my WrestleMania 30 predictions. And write your predictions down in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Bye!